This is amazing. Now we're going to see how you can create blog articles from a YouTube video. Here I'm adding my YouTube video. Here I'm pasting my previous article to understand the style of it. Then I'm clicking run. Then it gave me a blog article based on the content from this YouTube video and written in the style I wrote before. So how can you do this? So when you consider writing your own manual blog article, first you need to watch the video, then transcribe the video, then write the blog to get the blog article. This is time consuming. What if we add AI to that? So we pass the YouTube URL to AI, then that is going to use that information from YouTube and then write a blog article for us. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Vectorshift AI workflow automation. So this simplifies the process of automatically creating blog articles from a YouTube video. This will speed up the process from conversion from YouTube to a blog article. We are going to cover two different things. One is how to write blog from a YouTube video, then how you can write YouTube description from the same uploaded YouTube video. So in regards to a blog article, we are providing three inputs. One is our previous article, which we wrote manually to understand the style. So the AI is going to prepare the style guide. The second input is the audience. What type of audience are we going to focus on? And third, YouTube URL. So when we pass all these three information to the second AI agent, then we get a blog article from that. We can even combine our own YouTube description at the same time by adding another AI, which gets the YouTube video URL and then writes the YouTube description for us. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can set up the pipeline like this, then how you can test it. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Thanks to Vectorshift for sponsoring this video. Vectorshift is a no code AI automation platform where you can build a pipeline, integrate that with various applications and large language models, create chatbots and create workflow automation. I already created videos in regards to how you can create chatbot using Vectorshift. Today we are going to focus how you can create workflow automation that is converting from YouTube to a blog article using Vectorshift. You can get started for free, but use Mervin Prezner's coupon code to get 20% off. So now we are going to sign in. Here you are able to create pipelines. So you've got pre-built pipelines which you can try and test. For now, I'm going to create a pipeline from scratch. First, as we can see here, we're going to create one text input. That is any old article. From that, the AI is going to understand and prepare a style guide. And that style guide is going inside another AI, large language model, as context. And then it'll create the blog article. So here's the first step. There is a text input. That is where we are going to provide our old article. Then based on that, the large language model is going to create a style guide. Then that style guide is sent to the next LLM. So this LLM understands the style guide and based on that, it's going to create the blog article. But we need to add two more components. One is the audience input and then YouTube video input. Now adding the audience input, another text box where I mention the audience for these blog article is people interested in AI. So that information is passed as audience to the next large language model, as you can see here. Now we are going to add one more as the context that will be the YouTube URL. And now I've added that. So here you can see the input is YouTube link. Then that information is passed to the YouTube loader. This YouTube loader reads transcript from a YouTube video. Then that transcription is passed to our large language model, as you can see here. So now we've got three different things. One is the style, audience, and the context. That is the transcription. So with all these information, this large language model is able to generate a blog post, as you can see here. So you can even easily create all these components and additional components at the top here. Input, output, text. You can try any of this large language model. But for now, we are going to use GPT-4. You can also integrate this with various applications, as you can see here. Add a knowledge base for RAG and much more. I will let you extend this further. At the same time, we are going to add one more step. That is the ability to write YouTube description at the same time. So we are going to add one more component to the mix. That is another AI large language model. Using that video transcription, 
to create YouTube description. So in this pipeline, I'm going to add one more large language model here. Now I've added the large language model as you can see here. So the same YouTube transcript is going to this large language model. And here we are mentioning that use the context of the video or the YouTube video to create key takeaways, theme one, discussion, tags and keywords. And also we are providing some examples. So based on this, the large language model is going to create a YouTube description here. So this is the overall picture. The top part is for article generation and the bottom area is for writing YouTube description. So in one pipeline, we are trying to do two things. Similarly, you can add as many automations as you require. So just by adding one URL, you are doing multiple tasks at a time. So now we are going to test this. So to publish this at the top, just go and click deploy changes. Then we're going to test this by clicking the run pipeline. Now I'm going to extend this further. I previously created a video about vector shift, create AI chatbot from tabular data. I'm copying that URL and adding that here. Now we need to provide an example article to write a style guide. So the large language model can use the style to write a blog article. For that, I'm going to copy one of vector shifts article, a guide to prompt engineering, just selecting everything and then copying and pasting it here. Now I'm going to click run. Now you can see the YouTube description is getting generated with key takeaways and other information. You can clearly see the information coming from that video chatbot from table of data. Next is writing a blog article for me, creating a vector shift CSV chatbot, a step by step guide. And you can see more information here. This is exciting. Similarly, you are able to create your own automation and extend this further. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.